Tom Gillis here with another driving tip in my car. This one has to do with practicing, okay? And warming up, things like that, but practicing in general. And when you learn the game and repetition is what you need, okay? You gotta swing, you gotta do something to, to create a motion, to create a habit, okay? To train yourself to do it. Just like driving this car, I'm driving this car as I'm talking on the phone, I take a drink of my water, etc. It's an overlearned skill driving this car. I've done it a million times drinking water. I never miss my mouth with the water ever. It's an overlearned skill, right? So just like in golf, if you do it enough, it's an overlearned skill. So that's why some people are better than others. They put more time into it. I used to practice in the backyard swinging like I had a weighted club a little bit. I had an orange whip. You might have seen those with the orange ball on the end of it. I swing one of those orange snow sticks for speed. I take a basketball and I practice throwing it against the wall and catching it. And and all these you will see on new videos coming up soon. Um, if they're not already made, check out my other videos where you will see all these things that will help you get better in your golf swing to create motion, okay? And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe, like the channel and all that so you can see all these um, videos in the members only content section to help you improve your golf game. They really will help you get better. Okay, so I thank you for watching. If you have subscribed already, thank you so much. I appreciate it as we grow. But back to the to the, the training and going to the driving range, you know. So there's different types of practices. We got block practice and then you got random practice. Block practice means hitting the same club a million times, a, a six iron. So I would hit a million five six irons training my motion. Okay. And then I would do random practice to different targets with that right motion. But if I don't have the right motion, I can't have the right um, distance control. And the distance control will come with the better motion. You know what I mean? So you gotta have both, but you gotta be able to swing something. Practice those drills I have in my other videos, that feet together drill is a beauty, go watch that one. Um, but go in that backyard and swing something. You don't even need a club to swing it. You hold your thumb like I do. I'll just hold my thumb. I swing in the kitchen in the winter, especially if it's during the off season. You've got to keep swinging, you know, go to the gym and swing something. You know what I mean? So there's a way to keep your swing in tune and in check so it really never gets in a bad position. You know, when you get to the golf course, take some swings with, grab a couple clubs, loosen up, stretch out, always stretch out, you know, touch your toes, all those things. And again, check out my other videos that I have for stretching and, and the ones that I think are most important that'll help you get better. But um, if you can't get to the driving range, go in that backyard, swing a club, you know, do the, all those drills I have. You do not need a golf club to improve your motion. You do need a golf club to have the ball, which direction it's going, of course, and all that stuff. If you have a net, that's fantastic. Nowadays, people have um, these Opti Golfs or these um, simulators in their house. If you're lucky to have one of those, fantastic. Make sure you use it right, though. Make sure you know where the ball's going, where it's hitting on the net, because these can be, I mean, on the screen or net. These can be deceiving. Sometimes these are jacked up to make you think you're hitting them further than you are. But um, have a plan. Don't just get up there and whack it. Make sure you see the ball hitting consistently on the screen or net in the same spot. Okay, don't have one way up in the left corner, one down on the right corner. Just don't do that. Have a consistent plan that's going to help you get better. You know what I mean? So keep swinging that club even if you don't get to the driving range please keep keep moving if you take a lesson you've got to really work on that and think about what we've told you to fix if it's your grip that's something you can do watching the hockey game or the baseball game just work on getting used to holding it properly check out my other videos for the grip which is very important if you don't hold it right you're screwed okay um if it's a, a motion part go in the backyard and if you know do these drills I have and you watch how much better your swing gets but you have to use it or lose it okay I haven't played so much in the in the past couple of years but I do swing in the backyard a little bit I do try to stretch you know I am trying to get back into it so my game's not where it used to be but it's still pretty good okay because I keep moving I'm, I'm in motion I'm getting older but I'm keeping in motion I'm keep moving and I'm trying to do the right thing because I have pride in my game. I like to play well, okay? I like shooting good scores. I like making birdies, okay? So I don't want to hear the excuse, oh, I didn't have time to practice. Well, you do have time to practice. 
in the backyard, in the living room, in the gym, anywhere you can swing something, a basketball. So you take that basketball and you throw it against the wall and catch it, throw it against the wall and catch it. That helps your swing and your body rotate, okay? Things like that, they create hand-eye coordination. All types of things that are gonna make you a better golfer and keep your swing growing and getting better. You know, because as a golf instructor, we want you to get better, you know, and you gotta work hard at it. People wanted to play like me, I worked my ass off to get good. It wasn't magic. I just put more time in than the other people. I was I was addicted to it and dedicated to it because I tried to make money at it, you know, and, and that's my, my deal. And But there are people who don't make money at it who are addicted to it and love it. I see them on Twitter all the time. My handle's at TGGI if you uh, want to follow me there. But um, they love it. They, they're following their stats and their strokes gained and their swing path numbers, all that. Some of them probably go too far and forget about actually playing golf. But but that's okay. You know, to each their own. Everybody has a different way of doing it. But there's no excuse to be able to swing something, to work on your game, to get more speed, to you know, to get faster, get longer. Go to the putting green, putt indoors. Use my iPutt mirror. Check my video out on my iPutt mirror. I sell those. They're cheap. Um, Email me, Tom Gillis, at pj.com if you want to buy a mirror, if you want online lesson help. It's not expensive. I can help you prepare for tournaments, anything you need to know. Help your kids, junior golfers. I've done it all. I've coached a high school team for 10 years. My son was the superior uh, junior golfer. Uh, I know what I'm doing. I know how to coach. So don't don't be afraid to ask to help for someone else too you know and again if you haven't liked to subscribe please do that right now um because i need your help to grow the channel and if you have already again thank you so much and remember to get out there and use it or lose it because if you don't swing you're not going to improve and you're going to get worse and, and you're going to tighten up and get rusty okay so find a place to practice and swing whether it's raining or it's snowing there's a way to do it and uh, your game will improve Okay, so again, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Tom Gillis signing out. I will see you next time, and please watch my other videos. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Bye now.